So here's another pointless video of the candle. And I attempt to take it without people in it, but as we know, people invariably wander into your shot. Plenty of people will glare at you as if, why are you taking a picture of me? And the answer is always because you walked right into my shot. Frequently when you have some other means of walking the path and you even knew it, if you paid any attention you would have known what you're doing. These are lobbies and unions, which are also lobbies, and also the offices of CNN and Fox News and Freedom Works. This is a Sunday TV show and people are sitting in front of a window and looking at the Capitol. They're in one of those windows. The Capitol is right there, and I think we'll be able to see it in a minute, although, you know, you can see the dome behind the tree. The trees have blossomed just enough that they're not, not super visible. Those are the Senate office buildings. This is Union Station. That we can get a better shot of. That's actually where we started. Union Station was defunct for decades. Sometime in the mid to late 80s is when it was refurbished and turned back into a working train station for Amtrak. Amtrak's lobby is actually in that next kind of mid-rise office building that you see there. It's mid-rise for DC because high-rise in DC is 10 stories, so that's five or six, so that's mid-rise. We can get a shot of the Capitol Dome down this street because there are no actual trees planted in the street. <laughs> As I said, this is a pointless video. Just because it's a pretty day and my hand is free for a few minutes until we hit a certain address. And so, I will tape um, the slightly more than mid-rise, i.e. it's close to the 10 story limit building ahead you see. It seems to have multiple colors of uh, stone and a flag on top and a flag in front. That's the Heritage Foundation. It used to be in a smaller building in 1980, a little farther away from the Capitol, but not too much farther, just a few more blocks. But then they got lots of money and now they have this giant building. Behind Union Station and this Amtrak lobby building are blocks and blocks of brand new kind of glass, frequently black glass actually tall buildings for DC like that one and they're almost all government lobbies or at least lobbies. The Securities and Exchange Commission is back there I think and part of the FBI. Now we get to see some creepy drivers all stalled. They're all wondering why someone's walking around taping them. The reason is is because they're parked in the middle of this pedestrian crosswalk is a crosswalk for pedestrians at all times, even when there is no light. So that's another Senate building there. Once you get past the Heritage Building up ahead, you're in Northeast Capitol Hill and it becomes residential, although some of those smaller buildings you see in the distance across the parking lot are actually residential, a few of them are houses, a few of them are condos. A lot of them are <laughs> lobbying organizations. The uh, Quaker Lobby, the Friends Committee on National Legislation is in one of those buildings. The Quaker Pacifist Lobby. And there's an office building behind Heritage. I'm not quite sure what it is. Anyway, as 
I said, this is a pointless video. I just walked into my office, so I thought I would make one because the light is so good. Even though this is kind of well-worn territory. Not sure this video is even going to get posted to a blog because, frankly, it's just not that interesting. This little row up ahead, the red brick across the street that the bus is pulling away from, is where several bars and restaurants that service Capitol Hill, especially younger interns, especially Republican ones, although not only Republican ones. One of them's called the 201 Club, because it's at 201 Massachusetts Avenue, across from the Heritage Foundation here, which is at 200 Massachusetts Avenue. something I have to do that I'm going to actually put the camera down. That's where uh, Rand Paul's office is. I think that's the Hart Senate office building. 